At least 23 people were shot dead in Iraq's capital Baghdad following clashes between rival groups. Supporters of the Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr stormed a government palace in Baghdad after the cleric announced his resignation from politics. A mob stormed Iraq's government palace that used to belong to former dictator Saddam Hussein. Protesters also occupied the halls, waved flags and took a dip in the pool. As supporters of Sadr stormed the highly secure green zone area of Baghdad. At least 23 people and 350. At least 23 people have died and 350 people have been injured. Some by bullets and others by inhaling tear gas. The morning saw rival groups spelt stones at each other. Gunfire could be heard, which the government forces and southern supporters blamed on armed militia groups. <laughs> بالبنادق احنا احكي لك احنا جينا بالمسبحه زين واذا بالمواجهه بالطلق الحي الناس اللي جون الرمونه لابسين اسود واسود اصلا ما موجود لا على العراقي على بدلاتهم At night shelling was reported and unconfirmed number of shells landed in Baghdad's green zone which houses government compounds and embassies Iraq's army announced a curfew in a bid to curb the violence The violence erupted after Sadr announced that he was withdrawing from politics. His supporters had stormed Iraq's parliament building on July 30th and have been camped outside. After Sadr's announcement, his followers stormed Baghdad's green zone. They met resistance from security forces and militias loyal to Sadr's opponents in Iraqi government. Sadr announced later that he was going on a hunger strike to protest violence from all sides. Sadr has a mass following for being opposed to both the US and Iran. He had fought US soldiers during the 2003 invasion with the Mehendi army. Washington wanted him dead or alive. After their withdrawal, Sadr renamed his militia the Peace Brigade. His Sadr movement won the most amount of seats in last year's election but failed to form a majority. He has refused to ally with other Shia groups saying that they are backed by Tehran. Sadr withdrew his legislatives from parliament in June and asked for fresh elections to break the impasse. His political opponents have resisted his demands which led to him saying he's quitting politics. Sadr has withdrawn from politics in the past but always returned. And for more analysis we are now being joined by Bakhtiar Goran from Erbil who is a Middle East expert thanks so much for joining us my first question at least 23 people have been reported dead in Iraq's capital Baghdad following the clashes what's the situation on ground as it stands right now Thank you for having me so since yesterday at around 4 5 pm the clashes erupted between first protesters and the uh, Shia militia groups who are known for their aff affiliation with Iran and the clashes have been ongoing since that time and there has been mortar fire exchange between where Saraya Salam or Peace Brigade of affiliated with Muqtada Sadr also intervened to in what they claim to protect the protesters so clashes erupted between both sides where there has been at least two two dozens of casualties or deaths and many injuries and the clashes have been ongoing since yesterday like afternoon right without despite all the political efforts to mediate between both sides to calm down the situation but there hasn't been any success so far Right uh, Bakhtiar we're also getting reports that the powerful Iraqi leader Muqtada al-Sadr is currently on a hunger strike until the use of force by security units against his followers stops that's what Iraq state media is reporting can you confirm this and what lies ahead for what seems to be a political impasse in the country Yeah it, the head of Sadr block in the former Sadr block in the parliament confirmed it, that Sadr is a, will be on hunger strike until all violence and uh, gunfire exchange stops so it's not known when it will stop because the, the clash is with, mainly between Saraya Salam and uh, the militia groups affiliated with Qais al Ali, who is the former senior member of the Sadr movement so uh, as well as from the other side is that Nurim the militia force affiliated with Nur, Nuri Maliki so it's it's very complicated situation because 
there is some sort of rivalry between these two, mainly these two groups, and it's there's been effort by, by the prime minister, by the head of Hajj al-Shabi militia group, to try to uh, right to, to stop the, the clashes, but there hasn't been any success, as I mentioned. Right, Bakhtia, thank you so much for all those updates, and thanks for joining us on Beyond with the latest. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.